I realize that sometimes we have two options when it comes to change. Either we think big or die. This week, I looked at the stats for single mothers in America. Did you know that 80% of the households in America are led by single mothers? It's a staggering statistic. And that statistic represents broken homes, broken relationships, the death of a dream, and not to mention the impact on the children. They, it's recorded that they, they're more likely to have psychological distress, poverty, and just low self-esteem. The impact probably can't even be quantified. And I am left wondering, how do I stifle the wisdom of big picture thinking in my own life? Because I may be talking about the stats for households, but the relationship I have with my work, with myself, with my promise and my possibility, also can become victim to small thinking and I wonder how many of those relationships could have been saved if each party just valued the wisdom of big picture thinking to bring about the change that will give them a better outcome and then I take it back to myself again and I say how could I apply this very principle to think for a change by employing and valuing the wisdom of big picture thinking. As a society, we have to think big picture, otherwise we'll be sucked in by the squabbles and emotional breakdowns and misunderstandings and conflicts from day to day. And the more we understand that conflict is a it's a typical part of any relationship, even the relationship with ourselves, the more we understand that it's not the absence of conflict that means peace, but it's being able to resolve conflict by peaceful means. Then we will be at a different place when we really consider how a single decision can cause the death of something really beautiful, the potential of something really awesome, because we do not value the wisdom of big picture thinking. I'm reading this book called Thinking for a Change, and it's really making an impact on me. So ask yourself, in what area of your life do you need to employ the value of big picture thinking, to value the wisdom of big picture thinking. Can you identify a specific area for you? Bring it back home to you and your relationship with yourself, your children, your partner, your platonic relationships, your work relationships. What could you be doing or be getting ready to do that would sabotage the big picture because you do not value the wisdom of big picture thinking. Let me know. Put it in the chat. I would love to hear your thoughts.